Welcome to the project demonstration of solar tree and designing and development of a microgrid inverter. So in this project we are going to uh, generate the power supply from these 5 solar panels. Those are connected on a tree uh, fabricated system. So in this one we have placed the solar panels. 5 solar panels are connected and we place this, uh, these solar panels in such a manner. So every solar panel will get the sunlight uh, so that it will generate the proper voltage and also the no shadow will fall on another solar panel so that output will be given to the directly to this charging circuit so here the charging circuit is given output to the here uh, one more charging circuit so the main purpose of this charging circuit is so we are going to provide the parallelly output so when we connected a sources in parallel we will get the maximum current so that maximum current given to the battery through this charging circuit so here the charging circuit consists of four diodes. Uh, the main purpose of these four diodes is generally uh, these uh, four diodes are connected in a manner of bridge rectifier. So the bridge rectifier purpose is convert to AC to DC. Though we are providing DC power supply from the solar panels. So here these four diodes act as a polarity corrector. Means if you connect this main output from the solar panels branches to this slot. So if you connect the reverse bar, reverse connection, plus to minus, minus to plus, then so if it is directly given to the battery, there will be a chance of battery or solar panels will get damaged. So in order to protect that, we are using these four diodes as a polarity character means they will take plus or minus inputs and output is going to be the rectified one directly, plus to plus, minus to minus. That output given through this capacitor, through these diodes to the battery. So here the capacitor purpose is if is there any ripple generated that will be neutralized and if the uh, diode, the diode purpose is if the battery is fully charged so it will block the the diodes will block the current from the batteries to the solar panel or to the transformer so here we are providing one more transformer extra like to charge a battery by providing 230 volts input whenever there is no sunlight so you have to charge that to the transformer connect the disconnect the solar panel and connect the transformer and provide the 230 volts input to the plug so then the light will be on so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours after the time completion so you can disconnect the transformer so if you charge the solar batteries through the solar panels also it will take maximum of 10 hours to be fully charged so once the battery is fully charged the output from the battery given to this inverter circuit so on this inverter circuit we have one controller so the small controller will generate the 50 heads of clock frequency that was given to this MOSFETs. So the MOSFETs will step up the current as the input current will be given to directly the step up transformer. So means here we are generating 50 hertz of clock frequency. So that was given to this MOSFETs. The MOSFETs are acting as a switching uh, circuits between the battery and the transformer. So same pulse is given to MOSFETs. MOSFET will provide the same 12 volts, 4 amp current pulses to the step up transformer from there to directly to the 12 volts AC given to the load. So here we can connect the two loads, one is the bulb, another is a 3 pin socket can be connected to the mobile charger, laptop charger or any like uh, fans. And also we can charge a mobile phones directly from this USB slots. So coming to the battery ratings, so here we are using 4 uh, 1 amp 12 volt batteries are connected in parallel, we will get 12 volt 4 amps and each battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp. So directly when we switch on this, the load will get switched on. If is there any overload connected, then there are the another two extra LEDs. One is the overload indication and another is a battery low indication. So if the, this light gets switched on, there's an indication of battery low and this light gets switched on, it's an indication of overload. So coming to the solar panel ratings. So we are using 6 volts. 3 watt solar panel but it can generate up to 9 volts output voltage with the 5 watts of power is it? Uh, over the rated voltage and rated currents.